Next month, the pet project will reach a milestone. That's right. It will roll out its 10,000th pet. And PET stands for Personal Energy Transportation. The supply of these mobility devices can't keep up with the demand, though. In tonight's Sarah Story, KOMU Sarah Hill takes us to the Columbia Workshop, where mid-Missouri volunteers are putting mercy in motion around the world. Combine a bright idea with a shade tree. Shade tree mechanic. And you have the roots for what's grown into a global mobility provider. People are not at all aware of the size of the community that crawls on the ground. This is no ordinary cardboard box. Its contents allow immobile people to move. Mel West heard a story more than 10 years ago that touched him so deeply he began a push for a pet. A missionary told of how he almost stepped on a woman in Africa. Going along and suddenly right in front of me was a woman on her stomach and there was a baby sitting on her back or tied to her back and as I parted the grass there were two little kids behind her. She was just not really crawling but dragging herself with her arms and kind of helping a little with her leg. Obviously she couldn't walk. She had come for three miles uh, that way to find uh, mobility. It's a great story. <laughs> Chokes me all up just thinking about it. Was, was. In Africa, Honduras, Vietnam, victims of landmines, polio. My guess would be poor nutrition. I was very surprised to get the first victim of, vic of Agent Orange. Exposure to Agent Orange, I guess, at 40 years ago. She cannot uh, walk, talk, but she can see okay, and she can use her arms. This is the first time she's had mobility. We don't preach sermons with pets. The pet itself uh, speaks of our love. Pet is a faith-based ecumenical group that started in Mel West's Columbia Garage in 1994. Today, seven states, Mexico, Zambia, and South Africa, now assemble or make parts for the pet. In an unassuming old warehouse on Hereford Road sits this global phenomenon that now reaches people in Nigeria, Malawi, Bolivia, more than 60 countries worldwide. A missionary in one part of Africa estimates his area needs at least 100,000 pets. But there are only volunteers and donations to turn out a few thousand a year. 20 million out there and we're only making a few thousand a year. We're going to have a lot of catching up to do. Roger Hoffmeister was a volunteer physician during the Vietnam War. With a severe limb loss. Decades later, he's still treating amputees, <laughs> but with a different kind of instrument. A person's been on the ground for 10, 20, 30 years, and unable to move, and all at once you put them on a pet and you change their life, just like that. There aren't very many things in medicine or anywhere that makes that kind of an impact that immediately. The pet project is all volunteer from the retired airplane mechanic who designed it. You're not designing something to make money or get recognition. You're designing something for that person you don't know and will never see. To the volunteer 80-something director who works 11-hour days. Joy is that deep satisfaction of putting someone else first. After assembly, volunteers pack the pets with items we throw away. It's not just the pets that are valuable, but the packaging that they come in. Take a look at this box. Even though it's badly dented, it's still very valuable to the people of Vietnam, including the binding that's wrapped around the box. They can sell this at market. And inside the boxes, the pets are packed with old clothes, toys, shoes. When they open those boxes, it's like Christmas to the people of Vietnam. <laughs> use that in the place of the traditional styrofoam and other pollution uh, materials back home. Someone in Colombia donated these clothes and stuffed animals. In Vietnam, a tin can is a valuable cup. <laughs> we put in tennis balls. Tennis players throw them away after a dozen times, you know. 
There aren't balls in most of the world. Uh, the kids wad up rags, tied up with string, make a ball. Get a tennis ball is just unimaginable. To Vietnam and around the world, from volunteers in mid-Missouri, on this box, no fancy packaging or shiny bones, just the gift of mobility. As a compassionate person, what should I do to help those who are less fortunate? That was KOMU Sarah Hill with videographer Scott Schaefer. The Columbia Pet Project could use welders and those with good carpentry skills. You can check out the Sarah Story page at KOMU.com. And join Sarah for a special half-hour broadcast about Columbia's influence on the world's mobility problem. Mercy in Motion from Vietnam will air on Channel 8 on March 8th at 6.30.